Hey guys, welcome back. So we are doing another meal prep today. I am, I defrosted about 11 pounds of ground beef, two big packages that I got from Costco. And I have 15 pounds, I think, of potatoes. So because I don't tolerate a lot of activity, I'm gonna just start. I have, all I have in this pan is um, one package, because I don't have a big enough pan. I know you can cook it in the crock pot, but what I'm gonna do is I have um, about one and a half large onions in here, diced, and I have um, one pack of the ground beef. And I'm gonna just cook this up. I'm just gonna cook it in two batches, and I'll put it um, in bowls so that when I'm ready to assemble it, I'm gonna run the potatoes through the pressure cooker and cook those and then mash them that way. Um, so I'm just gonna start by doing this and if I'm not tired and I tolerate it fine, I will do the second one. But I'm hoping we're gonna have this for dinner. It's Florida and I think it's supposed to be, what is it supposed to be, like 90s today? So the kids might wanna swim with my husband later. So we will, we will start cooking this up and I'll show you how I kinda like make like a gravy with it. Okay, so I've cooked, this is the first set of meat. I've cooked it, you can see the onions got translucent. Um, and then all I have is some McCormick brown gravy. I'm gonna add this too, I like, I drained all of this off. I did not rinse it or anything like that. And I'm just gonna do it to taste. So what I'm gonna do is put some in, and why it's hot, So as you can see, now it has kind of like a, I hope you can see it, more like a creamy kind of texture. Um, I tend to not put all of it in at one time and measure it. I want to get it to the consistency that I want, which is just a little bit wet, but not drippy. So I just keep adding a little bit as I mix it so it's not all in one spot. So that's the first batch. So if now, if this cools, and I have to rest or put this in the fridge and do this in, in spurts or you have little babies or, or something you're doing, um, this will be done. It'll be ready. It's going to go in the freezer so it doesn't matter if it's cold. Sorry, my hand's moving all around. Um, but I'll just wrap this up, put this in the fridge, and then when I'm done cooking the potatoes and everything, I will, um, I will get this out and start assembling. Okay guys, so what I did is in my pressure cooker right now, I have, I had a 15 bag, pound bag of potato, I have like four or five left, but I just cubed them up in dice sized pieces, put a cup of water, and I'm gonna cook my mashed potatoes that way. Um, so I know some people put the potatoes in whole and the skins just pop out, but I feel like you can't get as many potatoes in there. Like I almost got a whole 15 pound bag of potatoes. If I have to do a second, round I will since everything else is done but I'm gonna start assembling what I have because it's just taking up room on my counter because I have all this stuff prepped so waiting for my husband to get home and we're gonna swim with the kids so I figured okay I took a nap I had to rest now my meats dry or not dry I'm sorry cold but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this is my meat my meat and onion mixture. So I'm just going to, I'm gonna start with three because I know one will eat tonight. It looks weird because it's so cold. One will um, heat up tonight in the oven and I wanna be able to put some dishes away. Because when we're done swimming, we'll just, as we start showering, we'll, um, we will put some of this, one of these in the oven and just heat it through. Okay, there's two. And I wanted to get rid of, if all these pots like prepped, I 
think my baby wants to snuggle. But my teenagers are already in the pool, so I have a thing I can put there. And I have some teenagers that will do some dishes for me. So I have another container. Get some of this stuff off my counter. I have vegetables in the sink. Oh. Okay. I probably have enough to do. Oops. I probably have enough to do um three more. This is just the Kirkland's vegetable blend I got. It's like the peas, corn, and carrots. And I do a nice layer of veggies. Because with this, this is one of those meals that I put a ton of vegetables in. I put zucchini in and all kinds of stuff. Like, oh, look at me. I put some hoop I did. I will. Just dropped a big old pump. I will do a nice layering of vegetables because I want them to eat plenty of vegetables. In it. But there you have it. I'll just put, a, I put a nice layer. Like you can't even see the meat now. I put a nice layer of vegetables and then I'll do mashed potatoes. I know some people do super thick things in mashed potatoes. Um, I tend to make sure it's proportionally. Like I don't want them to eat half mashed potatoes, a little bit of protein and a little bit of veg. I'd rather have them have more meat and veg and, um, then, and then have potatoes and have it balanced. So even though they're eating shepherd's pie, it's um, a lot of vegetables, a lot of protein, and then, you know, a moderate amount of carbs since we're all trying to, you know, how many, watch how many carbs we consume all the time. You know, eating it in moderation is a big key to teach kids. So we will do this. I'll start with these three. I'm Like I said, I'm sure I'll probably make some more meat ones up, but I don't know how far the potatoes are going to go, and that was what worries me. So I'll go ahead and make up some more and put these off to the side and just have them ready so as the mashed potatoes are done I can um, have them ready to go. So that made, so that made three here and I have three more over there. So we have six pans. We'll eat one tonight, get one in the freezer. The only thing is I wanna see how long, I still have like a third of a bag of vegetables. I will put this away. What time is it? No. I will put, um, that. I'll make a soup or a chicken pot pie or something with that. Um, I'll get some crust or something. That'll be another meal that I'll make. So um, I'll wait and see how far the potatoes go. I'm thinking I should have enough. If not, I'll, I do have some odds and end potatoes that I can make up another batch of mashed potatoes and we'll just see how far it goes. But um, my potatoes are in the Instapot and I will whip those up in just a little bit and I will go ahead and finish up these and get these wrapped in, in the freezer. Okay. So we tried to do, <coughs> choking. We tried to do potatoes in the instant pot. First it was, everything was burning. Then I added more liquid than you needed. When they were done, the top was raw, the middle was perfect, and the bottom was burnt. So never again will I do potatoes like that. But we have to, we all do things in the kitchen and we're like, oh, why don't we just do it how we know how to do it? So sent hubby to the store to get more mashed potatoes, made them regular. 
You can do your mashed potatoes any way. Like if you like more butter, if you like more milk, if you like them chunkier. So I can't fit all of these in my fridge. And now I'm at the point in, at night where I had enough potatoes I could do one so I could get dinner in the oven. But now I need to get some of these wrapped up and in the fridge. So I wasn't able to cook all of them. So what I, ooh, just not making, look at this. Just not doing this right. So it's fine. So what we'll do is just tuck that in. We'll see how many we get done. And then if I have to make a little bit more tomorrow, I'll stick a tray or two in the fridge. So I just hit my limit. You gotta know when to be done. So we have eaten, eaten one tray that I made. We just threw some garlic bread in there. And now I will see, I'm hoping this makes three of the trays because I know I have enough room. I say, oh, I'm not making potatoes tonight again, but if I run out, that might become my reality if I can't fit them all in the fridge. So, battery died. So I got two done. And it looks like I'm not gonna quite get three because I'd rather try to fit this in and make one more pot of potatoes tomorrow than, you know, skimp on it and then wish I had done it when I get the meal out. So it looks like I'll be able to wrap three, two up tonight and I'll make another batch tomatoes tomorrow or potatoes tomorrow when I've got the energy in the morning because tomorrow we're doing raviolis. So, you know, anybody can boil those and do those. So my pot just wasn't big enough. So we'll wrap these two. We'll top it with cheese. We ate one tonight. That's all we have left. So, um, oh, we have one, one set for my husband. So that one took a little bit longer, but that's a family favorite. And again, we're putting five in the other, or the freezer. And I had that little potato mishap. So things happen, you know, as we cook and, you know, you try to do different things or try different ways. So again, we have two. I'm going to top these with cheese and then wrap these two. And then I'll shove these somehow in the fridge and I'll make another batch about the same size and I'll finish topping this and these two more over here and we'll have five in the freezer. Okay so this is a small Amazon haul and the only reason why I'm showing it is because this is um, extra craft stuff that we got online to do some of those um, scrapbookings to give the kids art credits like some idea. So these are really nice. Yeah. These cut your picture smaller. We got one of these for the kids. These were like 10 bucks. Um, and you can always buy these replaceable little blades. Um, there's not really a way they can cut themselves, but you can cut pictures down smaller. We got a bunch of these little scissors. This is a pack of 10 or a pack of 12. I don't know. For, um, not these. But they have all different kinds of edging that you can do and then some are just little scissors but they have all different edgings for the kids to do on the side of their pictures so we got them some of those these are really good for scrapbooking if you put them along the edges um, you put the little squares and then you just peel off the paper. So you're not trying to, they're double sided. Um, and there's a thousand in each package. So I think these are like five bucks. We got some little label things. Um, corner rounders to kind of make nice edges if you trim down pictures. Then as far as these, these are little, they're almost transparent. They're almost like a thicker tissue paper. I just love them for some of our stuff so you can see like there's some transparency here so we got a couple different things that they could add to photo albums 
Now, the other thing is the paper. So, if you look at those big papers that we got, um, it just is more economical to get it from them when it's on sale for 50% off. So this was 14 and it's six double-sided papers to each 12 pattern. So you're not really getting as much paper. So just make sure, you just wanna make sure it's acid free. You, you wanna double check because sometimes Amazon's not always cheaper on paper. Now they will have the 12 by 12, but then this is the 24 six by six. So it's still half the paper. I mean, they're cute, but you can find something very similar to this um, at um, Hobby Lobby. And again, it's not affiliated with Hobby Lobby. It's just shopping around to get the best price. You know, when you look at these, all these papers that we've gotten, these were all $10. And look how many papers are in each one. So we'll continue to do that. We probably won't get any Amazon paper. It's just not of good of quality. So... And then we also got some uh, markers if they want to do any kind of like writing on like like who it is, my grandpa, my grandma. They also have stickers for that that are really cute. Um, but the kids are going to start and then we'll get decorative stuff as they see what they need. Because there's so many. Again, I bought some. Like some of these from Hobby Lobby. Um, but they have things that are saying like dad, time with dad, grandpa. But um you know, we just want to make sure that we're not buying stuff we don't need. So they will um, make their list and we'll pick up ones later on. So this was about $70. And you can see for what I paid over here for paper and, and stickers and supplies, um, this was a little bit more expensive. Um, so we'll probably stick to Hobby Lobby, but the kids are excited. They're going to start doing their different scrapbooking today. So that was our little Amazon art haul. Mm -hmm.